Hi, welcome to my Linux desktop for this quick tutorial on downloading and installing the well-known free Mumble voice application. We'll do this according to the usual norms by uh, firing up the, in the included package manager from my Linux distribution. This is a PC Linux OS system from 2016, so if you are using a different Linux distribution, the details might be a little bit different, but in general, all of these principles will apply. And as always, we'll assume the best way to proceed is to use uh, existing packages from our distribution through the installed package manager. Accordingly, I'm going to fire up my link to my package manager. In this case, it's, it's uh, Synaptic, which of course demands a root password. After entering the root password, Synaptic fires up and begins analyzing the existing software on the system. And it'll populate a list right here. There it is, showing installed and available packages. I want, and there's my, there's my list. I want to make sure that my list is in sync with the online repositories. So to do that, as always, I'm going to click this reload button, which will go out to the internet and compare my list of packages with the latest, greatest on the internet and let me know if there's any need for upgrading before I proceed. Here's the list, and it looks like if I click on Mark All Upgrades, um, the Apply button stays gray. So this tells me I'm fully up to date. I don't need to do any upgrades. And the next step then is going to be to search for the Mumble app out on the repository and see if it's out there. Click. I'm going to type Mumble, M-U-M-B-L-E, and click on the Search button, whereupon it will go out to the Internet, find or look at my list and see if we've got Mumble. It's available, but I don't have it. So I want to mark it for installation with a right click, mark for installation and then apply which lets me know that it's going to go out and download a 3.9 megabyte install kit which will be expanded to 15.8 megabytes this won't take very long let's click apply and with my uh, DSL connection that'll come down pretty quick looks like we'll have it in a few seconds now it's predicting 28 seconds to download hopefully it can go a little bit faster than that yeah, here we go it's coming quick um, Mumble isn't a big heavyweight application, so it, it is going to install quickly. And being lightweight, of course, it also doesn't make a big impact on our CPU or bandwidth, a very important aspect of a voice application. Here we come. My internet connection is not that fast right now, but it's coming. Okay, three, two, one second. Here it is installing. Now rebuilding my database of installed applications should show Mumble installed here in a moment. There it is. Mumble has been installed, the voice chat application. It's just that easy to download and install Mumble using a modern desktop and the usual and customary um, uh, package manager through, through the, the, the uh, distribution supported um, uh, repository. It's that easy. Let's close down Synaptic. And we'll just verify that it's there by going to my main menu. I should find it in my internet area. There it is. Let's. One thing I like to do is, is, is move the shortcut to my desktop. I'm going to left, left click and drag this icon over here and make it link. And now I have a mumble button on my desktop. We'll continue this series of videos with, uh, with showing what it's like to fire this up for the first time and get it configured in our next video clip. Thanks.